a good morning and a big hello to everybody. We're going to talk about exploring transformation and how I have explored my dance form. But before that, I need to tell you what dance form I perform. I do Odyssey, the classical dance style of the state of Orissa. Orissa, the state of many splendorous temples. Temples with beautiful sculptures. A sculpture where a woman is looking into the mirror or tying her ankle bells or doing her hair or just looking at a bird. The graceful poses of the Odyssey dance style and the flowing movements always bring to mind the breathtaking beauty of these sculptures. You know, sometimes it's whether the sculptures have inspired the dance or the dance has been inspired the sculptures it remains a conundrum. I will perform a little, a small piece of dance in which the dancer, through her dance, demonstrates how she prepares herself for the performance. Draping her sari, wearing her jewelry, doing her hair and her makeup. Through dance again she will depict the musical instruments that accompany her. The sitar or the veena, that is the string instrument, the flute, the mardal or the percussion, and the manjira. Those are the tiny symbols that keep beat when the performance is on. okay I won't complete it with the audio track because then it's going back to the start again after that through dance I show the string instrument through dance again the flute
the percussion and the menjira or the symbols and then the actual dance ending with a namaskar i will not go into the audio track once again <clears throat> thank you the music that you just heard that accompanied the dance piece that kind of stopped because of my of the mic that did not have any meaningful words as in there was a particular group of words that kept repeating set to a tune and there was a percussion in the background a variety of percussion which made it very beautiful to listen to this kind of dance is called nritya or pure dance what you will now see is abhinaya abhinaya can be loosely defined as mime where in the music that accompanies the dance has meaningful words the words tell a story or narrate an incident an episode so what you will now see is two stories or two episodes from indian mythology the first one talks of gajendra moksha gajendra the elephant goes deep into the water and stretches out to pluck a lotus a crocodile catches him tries to pull him deeper he tries to free himself but he cannot he implores to the lord to help him the lord gets his chakra and kills the crocodile saving the elephant the second story a second episode that you will see you can clap after you see it uh the second episode a second story is that of draupadi vastraharan most of you must be knowing the story from mahabharat the pandavas lose everything in a game of dice to their cousins kauravas including their beautiful wife draupadi she is forcefully brought into the royal court and an attempt to disrobe her is made she does not want to get humiliated she implores to the lord to save her the lord provides her with yards and yards of garment an unending sari that protects her from humiliation video <laughs>
Now, what you saw was traditional Odyssey in traditional costume and with traditional music. Now, how have I explored my dance style? How have I tried to transform it? Firstly, by change in costume. Here, these are two pairs of swans. So the white costume makes it more clear, the kind of costume that is used. Or we have used different music. Initially, Odyssey was done as a solo. Now we perform it in a group. Or Odyssey, or most Indian classical dance styles, the base is mythology. I have swerved away from that. We have various issues, like the Narmada river issue, the Narmada shown through Odyssey dance, river Narmada, the dam shown by making a pyramid of the gymnasts, and the fight for justice of the tribals shown through folk dance. We have also got burning issues like dowry death or an unwanted girl child, or also environmental issues like conservation of nature, water, animals, saving the tiger, etc. We also have got mathematics on stage. Actually, the timing, you didn't stop in between, because now I'm not going to complete my talk. Okay. Uh, we have got math on stage too. And you might wonder how. Uh, in 1995, when India hosted the Math Olympiad, the logo of the Olympiad was a problem, a Sanskrit shloka from a Sanskrit shloka from the 12th century mathematical treatise, Leelavati, written by Bhaskaracharya. And we were asked to perform or bring that problem on stage. And before dance, I was a math teacher, so I was very excited because math was my first love and dance was my second love. So the problem goes like that. There is a pillar which is nine hands in height. There is a snake hole at the bottom of the pillar. Perched on top of the pillar is a peacock. A snake approaches the snake hole the peacock sights it. The distance from where the snake approaches is three times that the height of the pillar. The peacock sights it and swoops down diagonally to catch the snake. If the speed of the snake and that of the peacock swooping down is the same. What is the distance from the snake hole to the point at which the peacock catches the snake? Look at this picture, it's not very clear, it's a very old picture. We have the boy, we have a boy as the pillar. Uh, actually, you can't see it very clearly. Yesterday we could. And there is one girl who is the peacock, who's going diagonally down, and there's another girl on the floor who slithered across the stage as a snake. So we had a human triangle on stage, a right angle triangle with the pillar, the peacocks swooping down, and the floor. So for a solution, it is a Pythagoras theorem-based problem. So for solving it, what we did was, now you have, the answer would be square root of something is equal to square root of this minus square root of that. So to show the squares, we had different kinds of periods, or circles, twice. For whatever figure that was, to show a square, to show the subtraction or the minus sign, this is a very typical posture in Odyssey. This was the subtraction sign and for the square root sign, we had a girl standing like this. So, and like Jonathan said, that math is exciting. I genuinely believe that math is exciting. And we have done shows of Leelavati in many schools and have got children's responses. So I frankly believe that dance can portray anything 
Dance is passion for me. It's my love. And I think dance can communicate, entertain, educate, and bring social awareness. Thank you very much.